Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. First, let me applaud Adam Silver, the new commissioner of the NBA. Well done. I believe the punishment fit the crime. I don't see how in a sports league any team can try to actively discourage people of a certain gender, race, sexual orientation from attending their games in 2014. Right? I believe that Donald Sterling's views made him unfit to own the Los Angeles Clippers. Right? Now that said, understand I'm a divorce attorney here in the state of California. I'm in Northern California. I'm in the lovely Bay Area, not Southern California. But I believe press reports are getting a bit ahead of themselves. Understand Donald Sterling might not own a hundred percent of the Clippers. Take it from me, a person who is in court several times a month fighting on behalf of my clients in divorce cases unless there's a premarital agreement unless there's a postnuptial agreement since Donald Sterling has been married for the last 50 years and since he bought the Clippers in 1981 I would argue that his wife owns at least half of the franchise right any order from the NBA that Donald Sterling divest his portion of the Clippers shouldn't touch her portion of the team now I don't know how the team is legally owned it might be in a trust etc but understand the ruling yesterday should really only reach the 50 percent held by Donald Sterling. So you have a host of people out there right now who want to buy the Clippers. Let's be careful because of course Sterling's wife might not want to sell her portion of the team. More importantly if the couple has kids or close friends right or nieces and nephews Donald Sterling might well decide to sell at least a portion of his holdings his 50 percent to some of these beloved family members and if the wife and these minority owners are close then even if you bought the rest of the shares you wouldn't have what's called a controlling interest in the team. So what I want people to realize is that Donald Sterling was just one member in a marriage. Right? Maybe publicly he was the face of the Clippers. That does not mean that his wife doesn't own 50 percent of the franchise. There is nothing she has done that I'm aware of that should lead her to be ordered to divest any portion of her interest in the family's community property. Right? Understand too that there are tax consequences from the capital gains. Donald Sterling bought the team for about twelve million dollars in nineteen eighty one. The team right now is certainly worth more than the amount recently paid for the Sacramento Kings which was greater than half a billion dollars right I would imagine the Clippers because of the glamour city they're in Los Angeles are probably worth about a billion dollars right so 
I would argue that let's watch how this unfolds. Understand, if a husband transfers property to a wife as part of a divorce settlement, that transaction can be made to be tax-free, right? If it's part of a divorce settlement. For tax purposes, really, Donald Sterling has an incentive to transfer, depending on how the team is owned, right? The Los Angeles Clippers to his wife. Understand, Sterling is worth $1.9 billion. If the Clippers are approximately half the value of the community property, a settlement that might be advantageous to both Mr. and Mrs. Sterling from a tax perspective might be to have her take the team and him take the real estate holdings. I'm sure they have an army of attorneys looking through everything right now. So you're hearing that Magic Johnson wants to buy the Clippers. Floyd Mayweather wants to buy the Clippers, right? Tom, Dick, and Harry want to buy the Clippers. Just understand, the entire team might not be for sale. A controlling interest in the team might not be for sale. Let's remember, however the team was portrayed in the public, right? Donald Sterling and his wife on the team. Let's recognize her legal rights. For those of you interested in more divorce news and strategies, look me up online at richarddwyer.com. Thanks for stopping by.